Hi everyone, um, I thought I'd bring you with us on our first uh, weekend in the caravan. Um, we arrived last night after being in work, so it was about 20 to 11 when we got here. Um, Daniel and Paris and my dad were already here from the day before. My dad is in our support bubble, so he was able to come as well. Um, yeah, so we came down last night. Uh, the weather's been really nice. I believe it's a sun trap. Um, where our caravan situated as well um, so as you can see I've not long got up I've not had a wash I've not done anything so excuse this look uh, we're just waiting for everybody to get up now and then we're going to have something to eat and um, get ready and take the dog over to the beach and um, Dat has been really good loving it she's been out on loads of walks she's been sleeping really well and she's just here next to me licking her paws and um, she's just been sitting watching me open all the curtains and tie them back and then when Alan got up she had a little bark and got a bit excited but she's now just lying next to me here so we're just going to see what today brings I'll take you with me through the day and into tomorrow it's not going to be a big long vlog because I think you'd get bored with it and um, when you're doing a weekend vlog you tend to um keep filming and you end up with like an hour's long footage so they're just going to be short bits throughout the weekend of what we get up to so we'll catch up with you in a bit so we've got ready and had our breakfast Dan cooked us all a little breakfast so we've all had that we're going to take the dog over to the beach now and um, it's not it's not raining but it's not brilliantly sunny yet so I think that's this afternoon and um, I'll just show you these cushions that I got um, to go with the curtains so they're duck egg blue and they're the closest thing I could find to match the curtains. So we've just brought a blanket there for Darcy, um, but she's lying here. She's got a lead on, she looks really enthusiastic. Coming on the beach. Mm. We've also brought a cage with us just in case she gets a bit hyper, but she's been fine. Yeah, so we're going to go over there, I'll take the camera over and do a little bit of videoing over there. Dan's just popped his head out but gone back in because I don't think he likes being on camera. <laughs> My dad and Daniel and Paris have gone home now. They've been home, I think it was about two hours ago. And um, we've tried to get Darcy out, but she's a bit reluctant. So we're going to try again later to take her over to the beach. Um, she has had a bit of a run this morning and her paw was bleeding because of the stones on the beach a little bit. So maybe she's just feeling a bit reluctant to go out, but we'll try again later. So we've just been over to Jake's, the, the club just near the caravan. And we've decided to get something to eat from there. Um, so we've just got chips and cheeseburgers, which isn't very healthy, but it's convenient. So I'll just show you. So we've got these and Alan. Yeah, so we're going to have them now and then watch a bit of telly and then we'll probably go over to the beach later, maybe watch the sunset. A lot of people have turned up last night, I believe, so it's pretty busy on here but 
um, it's still nice the sun's been out all day so we had a little venture out to the market earlier on and then we went to the cake shop and then we came back my auntie and uncle were here for a bit but then they went they were sitting outside with us and then they went so it's just me and alan and darcy now um so we're going to do that tonight try and get her to come with us over the beach later before it goes dark and then in the morning i'm not sure what we're going to do we might nip in uh, the range maybe so if we do go there because i want a floor lamp for in the caravan just a slim one so if we do go and we manage to go early i might take you with us then um so for now might see us later if not catch up with you in the morning so we've come to the next day um didn't feel there was m nothing to film last night really um <clears throat> feel a bit horsey this morning um yeah we tried to get darcy out over the beach but she was very reluctant she wouldn't come out she went outside for a week and come back in but i think she has cut a paw a little bit on the stones on the beach but she seems okay she's just reluctant to come out now that there's only me and alan here so we're going home later today um but we've got up we've had a little bit of cereal there was some bacon left over so we're going to put that on um and we believe that the castle's open is it greenwich castle i'm not sure how you pronounce it where they did the army celeb so we're gonna go up there later i'm gonna go the range and then later on we're gonna go there and see can we get in i believe some of the props are still there from when they filmed the show so we're gonna go and check that out and just see can we get in there and then we'll probably leave to go home around three or four o'clock because we've got work tomorrow but then we're coming back next week so all good it's really peaceful here today um it's nice so we've just got ready alan's getting ready i've just got ready as you can see um yeah so i'll just show you darcy so she's pretty much zonked out i think she's had a good long walk on the beach yesterday she was in the sea for the first time ever she had a little paddle thought would that help her foot but i think she's just got a little cut on one of her pads but she'll be okay um she has been a little bit active this morning so then as we come over here i've got the bacon on so this is my first time using the oven but we used it yesterday so we've just put some on there we're just gonna have bacon on toast seems a lot there but i'll probably give darcy some so we're gonna get that on now you could see we got darcy out we just took her along the beach wall we didn't really want to go in on the beach with her foot but she seems fine no blood no limping or anything so i'm sure she'll be fine she's just having a lie down again now so what we did we nipped over to the range and b&m but there was big queues outside the range so we didn't bother i just wanted a floor lamp for next to the fireplace but there was um too big a queue and we didn't want to leave the dog too long in the caravan so we went into b and m and just picked a few bits up which i'll show you now so we just picked up some three in one uh, vanilla latte these are just to keep in the caravan we're coming back next week during the week i think wednesday we're coming back because alan's got to do some training on wednesday so we're coming back then so these are just to keep in the caravan to save bringing them back and to all the time so we got nescafe three in one vanilla latte i got a qt i got a mayonnaise because we were looking for that the other day uh, we were short of mayonnaise when we went over to jake's to get something to eat um i got a garlic salt and then i picked up this wash um little decorative um ornament for the bathroom shelf so i'm going to pop that in in a minute i got a dove soap for in the bathroom um some more fabuloso wipes because they're handy just to whip out and wipe the surfaces down a shower scrunchy thing and two more toilet duck things um yeah so i picked those up another thing i got as well um i got this off amazon i was looking for a dish drainer but obviously just a smallish one so on amazon they had this collapsible one 
So you just take that off, that's to hold your cutlery, you take that off and it just collapses. So you can just store it in a cupboard when you're not using it. So we'll pick that up, I think that was about £10. We're just waiting for one of the workmen to come. Um, we've had a few issues that we need rectifying in the caravan, a few jobs. So he's just done the carpet runner for us. He's just moved that up a bit because the carpet was a bit short for it. So we've fixed that and he's gone off to try and find... Um, a toilet roll holder for one bathroom and a towel rail for the other bathroom so he's gone off to try and get them done for us so in a bit we're going to go to the castle and see um, about getting in there whether you can just walk around the grounds whether you've got a book or whether um, you can take the dog or whatever so I think we're going to try and take Darcy with us in the car if she'll come um, and we're just going to have a drive up there so we'll take you with us and then we're going to do that and then we'll probably come back, have something to eat and then pack some things together and head home. So um, in a few minutes, we're going to be heading to the castle. Um, the gate that you've just seen at the bottom there is the gate that the celebrities would come through when they were evicted and they'd walk up here and then into the which we're going to go to in a minute. Um, I was out of breath so I couldn't talk you through it so I'm just going to do it now. So there's a poster up inviting your support. I'm guessing this is for donations to help restore the castle um, probably in terms of um, people being able to visit this year and over the coming years um, I believe some of the props are still in there so we're going to head in in a minute I'm made up that Darcy was able to come in they've got um, drinks for the dogs around the ground so she's had a drink of water she's been really good and I am out of breath as I'm talking so we do apologise so we'll have a look inside in a few minutes so if you can see here this is the original grand staircase Years and years ago, when I was about 13, 14, um, we, had, we came here on a day out with our other dog. We had a King Charles Spaniel back in the day. And I've got a picture in my dad's house of me stood on these steps with the dog. Um, and we recognised it when the show was on. But obviously there was no nice red carpet and the stones were quite in a grubby condition, as you'd expect. So I hope you can see there, because the sun's blurring in. Um, I just thought I'd show you that. And we're going to head up here now and see where that takes us. So I think this is the toilet we used on the show, I think. Um, so we've got that. We've got this courtyard, which I remember very well from watching the show. And then we've got the phone box there. So I think this is the old shop, oldie shop kiosk kev or kiosk keith whichever one we had when we were watching the show darcy what do you want from the shop 
gravy bones. Right. <laughs> so we've ended up up here. Um, we've just seen the shop. Um, we were trying to find the living part that they had in the show, but we couldn't find out where it was because I'm sure it was near the phone box, but when you're at the phone box, it doesn't look like there's any, like where the beds would have been and things like that. So we don't know if any of any of you watching this have been here, try and let us know in the comments. Um, we will come back. Um, yeah, we'll definitely come back because it's nice to walk around and when you just see things, but they would have had set design and things, wouldn't they? So some things have probably been taken out. But yeah, we did see the grand staircase there, but it looked a bit different to how I remember it. Obviously it will do, but we weren't sure whether that was the actual staircase that I showed on camera because the picture one looked a lot bigger. But we don't know, but we'll definitely come again. I'm not sure whether this is the end of the little route that we're allowed to have or not. Um, Darcy's been as good as gold. She's just there with Alan. Um, she has had a drink of water. Um, I'm, I'm amazed at how good she's been because she's a bit nervous going out on the lead and she doesn't often come out with me. She likes to go when there's a couple of us, um, but she's been really good, so I'm made up and it saves leaving her in on her own in the caravan. But getting back to the castle, I recommend a visit. Um, it's £5 each to get in, different concessions, and yet it's been a, a nice little trip out. I think we're going to continue to have a look round now. If there's any bits of interest that I can put on camera, I will do. Um, so we'll catch up with you in a bit. So yeah, that was a really successful little trip out today. We really enjoyed it and Darcy was as good as gold. So we've come back to the caravan. It's absolutely roasting. We've opened all the windows. Um, we decided for tea. I know I'm always banging on about my weight, but Alan's gone the chippy. I walked round to the chippy on the next um, park to us and they said we didn't have any cash on us so I asked if they take card and they said no cash only. So I walked back and Alan didn't think he had cash on him and then he found it in his pocket. So I've sent him to the chippy so he's gone there just to get something to eat and then we're going to pack up and then head home because we've got work tomorrow. But um, if any of you are coming on a day trip or anything, I do recommend the castle. It's just nice for a walk round. And um, some of the people who we spoke to there reckon that they're filming um, I'm a Celeb again this year there. So I don't know how true that is. Um, but yeah, it's worth visiting for £5 each. And if it helps to sort of keep it going, it's good, isn't it? And dogs are allowed as well, as you can see. And... Um, loads of water available for the dogs as well we didn't think Darcy would do too good with the paw but she's been really good um there's no blood or anything now I think she's just probably caught it on the beach the other day so we're going to have something to eat head home and we're coming back on Wednesday we we're going to come Tuesday but Alan's got training on Wednesday so I'm going to use that bit of time to put some plants in at home and stuff like that get my garden sorted and then we'll head back down on Wednesday afternoon I probably won't bring the camera next time because each time I've brought the camera so I might give it a miss for the next few days that we're down but maybe bring it the time after that which will be the week after so I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, it was a bit mismatched because you're wondering what to do and um, the club here on the camp as well that opens tomorrow for food and drink outside we've been given vouchers for that um 200 pounds worth is it I think it is yeah so we've got them and we can use them on food and drink in there they've set up a nice outside area with all like a roof on and all nice lights in so that'll be nice when that opens up and we can go there so yeah if you've enjoyed the video i hope you have um, i seem to be doing really well with me uh, views and things on the caravan videos so i'm glad about that There'll be loads more coming up to see on future ones. So if you've enjoyed it, please let me know by giving a thumbs up. If you're new here and you've watched the video and you've enjoyed them and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber and see what we get up to as a family. Um, so until the next video, bye for now.